Hey everybody, Economic Ninja here. I hope you're doing great. We're gonna talk about the real estate market. Guys, we have been talking about the real estate market and how it is gonna come down and that don't believe the hype that uh, if you don't wait, you're not gonna be able to buy a house. I said, don't worry, it's coming down. I talked about this specifically in November and December when I told you that as the Federal Reserve starts to raise their uh, Fed funds rate, that the 10 year was gonna rise also in conjunction because why would banks put m money at risk at low interest rates when they could put it at, uh, uh, you know, put it on loan with the Fed at a lower rate, uh, but totally secure, right, in their minds. And so that's exactly what happened. Uh, the Federal Reserve started raising rates. The 10-year bond started to pick up uh, in momentum. Interest rates, uh, mortgage rates exploded. I mean, literally doubling in a matter of less than six months. And we saw housing start to slow. And now there's an article out of CNBC, and I think it's very important to read this one um, because it's, a, it's entitled, Home Prices Cooled at a Record Pace in June, According to a Housing Data Firm. The reason why I think this is so important is because I've told you before, um, we are... Literally, I'm going to walk you through this crash. The crash, excuse me, has already started. It actually started in 2019. I know it sounds crazy because you had the stock market and housing markets go up, but that's called a blow off top, right? The market started to collapse in September of 2019. That was evident with the interbank lending rate exploding and the Federal Reserve having to open up its repo window or repurchase uh, window. Uh, to buy assets from banks to be able to essentially loan money out really quick as an emergency measure. That hadn't happened since uh, the Great Recession. Uh, so this is a big deal, all right? Now, people, again, still, some people are on the sidelines going, oh my gosh, if I don't buy now, or hey, prices have dipped, like in Austin right now. Across the board, it seems like 10% uh, price reductions are the norm, and you're going to see it's going to get much, much worse going into fall and December. And a lot of people are going to go, oh, but it's finally happening. I can afford now. No, you can't. Uh, if you are literally looking at a mortgage payment that is over 50% of your take-home pay, you cannot afford that house. Trust me, you're going to get squeezed with inflation. So stick around this channel. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button because I'm telling you, there are a lot of things that people think they can afford and that is what leads to collapse. And trust me, you're about to see a housing market uh, bust that is going to blow your mind. And in my personal opinion, not professional advice, I think it's gonna be bigger than 2008. All right. Home price Prices, home price gains are cooling fast as demand wanes and supply builds. That is very true. I've talked about this before. New construction is actually what's known as a lagging indicator to the health of a real estate market. And the reason why is because it takes so long. And I know this. I own a construction company myself with some amazing partners. Um, and we've scaled back right now because we're getting ready for this crash. Um, it takes so long for a contractor or a building company to decide, okay, we're gonna go for this, and then they buy the land, they get the plans going, they get the permits. It takes years to get a large subdivision going from where you say, okay, let's do this, to I'm selling the first house. It takes a long time. So by the time construction companies go, hey, let's do this, everybody's making money, you can't lose. Well, by the time they're done with those homes, <laughs> and it's already happening now, people are pulling deposits because they simply can't afford the house because interest rates are going up along along with the real estate price. This exact same scenario happened in mid-2006. Now, another bullet point. The annual rate of price appreciation fell two percentage points from 19.3% to 17.3. And you may be thinking, Ninja, that still is massive. You are correct, it is massive. But I want you to understand that we are now on the backside of this parabolic uh, rise. Now we're coming over the top. It's like that, um, I'll give an example. You're on a roller coaster and you're just cruising up and you're in the front car. You're like, oh my gosh, we're getting high. I can't believe I did this. Why did I let my buddy talk me into this? I used to hate roller coasters, now I love them. And you're going up to the top and you start to crest, right? And as you crest and you see like the, the pit of doom, oh my gosh, I'm going to die, probably not. These things are pretty safe. But as you start to crest over the top, you're moving slowly, 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 slowly until half of the train has gotten over the top and it's at, at its slowest. Now, here's the thing. As you get farther and farther over the front, past the middle point, you start to accelerate until you hit peak acceleration midway down that uh, doom loop, right? That is what we're experiencing right now. House price, up, 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 slow, slow, stop, dude. Okay, they're coming down a little bit. Oh, but barely. Coming down a little bit more. Still, still really good price. And then it's, oh crap, what are we doing? Oh crap, oh crap, crap. And then they're gone. And then that's when the banks go, we're coming to take your house back. Woohoo! So that's where we're at right now. Now, the next bullet point, price gains are still otherwise strong because of an imbalance between supply and demand. I love this argument. 
The housing market has had a severe shortage for years. That is 100% wrong. You wanna know why? Oh, because in the last few years, a bunch of people didn't just shoot out babies. As a matter of fact, the world's population, the, uh, the birth rate has actually slowed in the last 10 years a little bit, right? And now it's increasing, but on a percentage basis, it's not increasing at the same pace it has been for the last couple of few decades. So this is why you're being fooled about a housing shortage. Every time interest rates plummet, all right, and they always go up and then they plummet, they go up, they plummet, right? However, in the last 20 years, we have never seen interest rates. When I refer to interest rates, I'm talking about central bank uh, reserve rates, like they're, they're the Fed funds rate, right? We have never seen them this low in history. Um, 2001, after the uh, dot-com bubble burst and 9-11, we saw them very low. Then we saw them incredibly low at about 25 basis points after Lehman Brothers collapse. But when 2020 happened, we saw something that has never, ever, ever happened before. And that's a zero. Zero, which actually was, was it nominally uh, negative when you add in fees and all that stuff. So the only reason there was demand was because people that could not afford a house before could also afford, could all of a sudden afford one now because interest rates had plummeted. So then you had more people out there looking for homes. And again, they were buying homes. Sorry, it's getting bright out here. Just like our, my future and yours, baby. Ninja Nation, our futures are bright. Why? Because we're prepared, not scared. We're getting ready for this crash. We're not gonna be greedy. But they all ran into the housing market and they started buying it up because now interest rates are low. Well, what happens with that when demand increases? Because if it lower rates, demand increases, it brings the prices of the homes up. But here's the problem. At the very top of the market was last Jan, uh, July. People don't understand that because all they look at is price. In real estate investing, you have to look at velocity. Velocity tells you the health of a real estate market. And when, I used to be a real estate investor. I sort of, sort of am. When velocity slows, that means that people do not have enough money to sell their house and go buy a nicer house down the street. That's your first flag. Now you always have a blow off top because there's always what I call dumb money. And when I say dumb money, it's people that are dumb. That's very simple. People that aren't thinking about the future, aren't even really thinking about, can I pay this house off? All they're thinking about is what can I get into? Can I afford a third garage? Can I afford the pool? You know, all I care about is my monthly payment. Those are dumb people. Those are people that lose. All right, I wanna stop that. I wanna warn people about this and then I wanna make you be able to go out there and crush it, right? Send you forth and crush it. And what I mean by crush it is that you will have extra money and you will be able to buy as, like instead of one house, I want you to buy 10, right? And then I want you to be good landlords and all that good jazz. So my point being is that I think it's a very important time and these news articles, I'm gonna link this below, this news article, uh, because it's important to, to realize that just because interest rates came down a little bit doesn't mean that the housing market is going to all of a sudden correct and go back up. There could be some small dead cat bounces in any market. But if you look at the hottest markets right now in the country, uh, Austin, Lake Havasu, Arizona, I had, my first rental was there, um, Boise, Idaho. These are all places that are, are literally crashing. And when I say crashing is when you have multiple rounds of 10% declines in asking prices, that's when your first part, your first uh, inclination that th this thing's going to crap in a handbasket. And that's a good thing, right? Because we wanna sit back. Now, last thing I'm gonna leave you. If you have a house and it's going down in value, don't worry about it. If you can make your payment and you have a good solid job, don't worry about it. It's gonna, re it will rebound. Why? Because the government will ensure they wanna destroy the purchasing power of your currency. That's why you'd wanna have some gold and silver on the side. But guys, I'm gonna go ahead and throw this uh, link down below to the article. I hope you guys have an awesome day. Go keep crushing it. The real estate market will be lower in a couple years than it is today. Now it's not professional advice coming, come on, look at me. I'm just a dude with a bro hawk and a dream and some cardboard notes. Oh, there's, some, there's something written on there, I promise. All right guys, that being said, the Economic Ninja is out.